Hello guys, good evening. It is Shanique Savage of Savage Makeup Artistries and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about tonight's look. It's something a little different for me, more fresh face, soft and perfect for the springtime. So tonight I decided to recreate Rihanna's work video makeup. So yeah, I chose the one where, you know, it was more of like the lounge theme and uh, purple lighting and she had this beautiful like purple mauve eye makeup and lip and I just thought it was perfect and fresh for the springtime. It wasn't like too dramatic because I don't know, I don't know about you guys, but I've been kind of getting bored with the super dramatic makeup looks that I always recreate or come up with on my own. Yeah, I've just been getting super bored with the super dramatic makeup looks and originally I was thinking about recreating Rihanna's um, the video where it was more of like the Jamaican nightclub type of atmosphere and she had on the deep green lip and the glittery gold eye, but I feel like I do that look all the time. I mean, maybe not the green lips, but that eye makeup, it's just, I just seem like I do that all the time. So I wanted to create something different for you guys that was fresh for spring and soft, and I don't know, I just, I don't know, it just looks so beautiful and different and glowy and I don't know. So yeah, I love it. I hope you guys love it as well. And if you want to learn how to achieve tonight's look inspired by Rihanna's work video, then please keep watching. Get started. I'm just showing you guys the primer that I used because I actually forgot to include that in this video. Oh, actually, I forgot to put on primer, but you should always wear a primer before you apply your foundation. So, yeah, now I just went over my face with um, LA Girls Orange Concealer, and I'm just... Um, concealing any blemishes or dark spots on my face and you want to take um, a flat bl uh, brush or um, a beauty blender and you want to just gently blend out that orange slightly just so that it, you don't just have lumps of concealer all over your face so you have a flat surface when you get ready to apply your foundation and now I'm just applying these two shades by L'Oreal's Pro Matte Infallible Foundation, number 8 and number 7. And I'm just patting that all over my face, like pressing it into my skin. You don't want to swirl this around because you'll end up mixing the orange in with your foundation. And nobody wants to look like an Oompa Loompa. Let's just be serious. So yeah, I'm just continuously patting that in. And now I'm grabbing this uh, Correct and Conceal ba Palette. By Carity. This is a um, a dupe for Mac Com Mac Cosmetics um, concealers, and I'm just taking this in areas that I want to highlight, like just under my eyes, the center of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, just a little on my cupid's bow, my chin, and my jawline. And this is a pretty good uh, concealer. This is actually my first time trying it. I'm not sponsored, but I just I don't know. I'm a mommy on a budget or a Barbie on the budget. So I've just been looking for great products, great quality products before really affordable prices. So that's what I decided to bring you guys for this uh, makeup look. So it's like you can get a, ce a celebrity makeup look without spending a whole bunch on different makeup products. Every product in this video is like $25 or less and they're really good quality. So yeah. So now I'm just uh, grabbing this palette by NYX Cosmetics. This is um, a concealer powder from their um, highlight and contour palette. And I'm just taking that over the areas that I highlighted. And this is a yellow shade. It's very similar to Ben Nine's Luxury Powder and Banana. And I'm just further blending that out a little all over the areas that I highlighted. And now I'm grabbing this warm brown from that same uh, Conceal and Correct palette from Carity. Now this concealer is very good, but um, I was having some trouble with blending it out. Um, I don't know if it's because my face is a little dry because I didn't apply any lotion or primer to my face, which is a no-no. You want to always apply some type of moisturizer and uh, primer before you apply your makeup. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. Wherever you put it, it stays there. You just, you know, got to really work at blending it out. So now with a more neutral shade, that's the same as my skin tone. I'm just going all over my face. Um, just a little product on my brush just to blend in everything. Just so everything flows more cohesively and flawlessly. Because Rihanna had really beautiful, flawless skin in her work video. 
and I'm just toning down those areas that I highlighted them because, you know, I like to really go ham and cake on that product. <laughs> so, yeah, I just wanted, you know, to fade it out some so it's not too harsh or too bright. And now I use the reverse contour method down the sides of my nose um, so that my nose line isn't as harsh as well. And now with this uh, cool brown from NYX Cosmetics uh, highlight and contour palette, I'm just going in areas that I want to contour. This one was a little um, little cool for me. I usually go for warmer tones, but it works still pretty good. I just prefer uh, warmer, bronzier tones to contour with because I have more of a yellow undertone. So yeah, I just blended all that work in. And now time to attack those brows. And I'm grabbing this brow palette from BH Cosmetics. This was actually really good. The colors were super pigmented. They also have uh, gel liners in there as well in that brow palette. But um, for me, I personally just like to just use the powder so that my eyebrows aren't too dark and intense. Not as, you know, dramatic. It just works best for me. So, I mean, sometimes you just got to do what works best for you. So, yeah, I'm just slightly blending that in, doing my usual brow routine. And now with this um, matte brown from BH Cosmetics, um, I think it's their 128 color palette. Um, I don't know. They had so many different editions, but I'll definitely link it in the description box because I can't even tell you offhand, just to be honest. But, yeah, I took that right into my crease, blending it out a little. And now with these two mauve uh, purple shades, light purple shades from that same palette, these have a bit of a shimmer to it. I'm applying that directly to my um, eyelids. And now with this lighter uh, powder pink shimmer shade from that same palette, I'm going right in the inner corners of my eyes just to highlight and draw light to those areas, uh, just like Rihanna did in her video. And uh, with this part, um, if you're a little bit more of a deeper tone, you might want to use an eyeshadow primer or like a white um, eyeshadow pencil just to fill in that area and then put your eyeshadow over top because um, it just wasn't as pigmented for me as, you know, as what I was used to expecting. Some colors are really um, pigmented, but the light ones, they just weren't as like bright and intense as I was hoping for. But, I mean, they still did the job. It still came out beautiful. But, yeah, you might want to either wet those shades or, um, like I said, apply, um, like a white or nude tone eyeshadow primer. And I'm just cleaning up my eyelid area with that same, uh, light purple shade. And now with that purple that I applied in the crease, I'm just cleaning up that area and now slightly blending it out. You just want everything to flow really soft and beautifully. You don't want any harsh lines for this look. Now just still blending. That's the key to flawless eyeshadow makeup. Blend. Keep blending. If you're not sure, blend again. So now with this eye pencil by Max Cosmetics, well, I actually ordered this from AliExpress, but um, they're calling it a Mac pencil. It was only like a dollar or something, but it's um, very intense, a little dry. It doesn't glide on as softly as I would like, but it still did its job as in you know, producing a really vivid color. And I'm just cleaning up our crease area. And I'm just slightly blending that up a little more just to make our purple really stand out. And I'm just slightly blending out that work again, just slightly. You don't want your purple going all the way up to your eyebrows because that's the 1980s style. And I mean, 80s is back in, but not, I don't know, just a little too much for me. So yeah, I'm just cleaning up under my brows and highlighting my brow bone with that same light pink shimmer shade that we applied in the inner corner of our eye. And I'm just going to slightly blend off the outer perimeter of that as well. And 
And now I'm applying this light pink shade to the apples of my cheek. Um, it's a light pink shimmer um, blush from BH Cosmetics Dual Blush Palette. And now it's time to highlight. I actually went a little extreme with this highlighter. Like, I don't know, I just got super crazy and added a more, um, what is it called? I can't think of the word, but, the, you know, it's really close together bristles on the brush. Too dense, that's it, too dense. You want something more fluffy when you're applying your highlighter. But yeah, I just blended that out a little so that it's not as, like, super dramatic, like... It was too much. I was borderline Snow Queen for a second. But yeah, now with that same pencil, I'm using this to line my lid. And uh, you know what? Actually, I did go back in with a deeper purple from that same company and same website. Because um, I just felt like this one was a little bit too light for my lip. Sorry, I'm blocking you guys with my mirror. <laughs> I gotta get one of those reverse cameras where, like, I can see myself, like, straight on because, yeah. So, yeah, just to make your lips look a little bit more plumper, um, this is, like, a little trick. You want to go in the areas with your um, lip pencil that sink in a bit more, and it just creates more curves and, like, mountains on your lips. <laughs> you know, to give you that really plump lip effect. And I'm blending these two colors here, um, going for the same uh, shade that Rihanna used on her lips. But when I once I applied it to my lips, I noticed that it was a little too pink for me. And Rihanna's lips is more on the purple mauve um, side of the color. So yeah, so I actually went back in into their um, into the BH Cosmetics other palette. I think this is the nude palette, and I just went over that. And so now I'm just going to apply my mascara. This is L'Oreal's Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black. Uh, you want to apply multiple coats and also go on both sides of your eyelashes. You want to apply mascara to both sides of your eyelashes for more intense lashes. Um, you can also apply false eyelashes if you like. All right, guys, that's it. We're all finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for new videos coming every single week. I think I actually skipped a week last week. There was a whole lot going on. I don't want to get into it here on my YouTube channel. I'm trying to keep it professional and more about makeup and stuff. But, yeah, I just had a super, like, crazy week prior to this. So, yeah, I'm trying to get back into my, um making my makeup tutorials for you guys for these and the more and I came up with this beautiful well I didn't come up with it Rihanna's makeup artist did but you know you know what I mean I wanted to recreate it for you guys so yeah I hope you guys loved it and like I said if you did please like share and subscribe it would mean so much to me if you guys did and yeah stay tuned for new videos coming every single week see you guys later